So I think his, his sense of guilt and remorse is profound and, and genuine. Dr. James Garbarino is a psychologist and author who specializes in the study of what makes children violent. He was the first defense witness in the resentencing hearing for Rod Farrell, the man who once claimed to be a 500-year-old vampire and leader of a teen cult that drank blood. He was sentenced to death for the November 1996 murders of Richard Wendorf and Ruth Queen in their Eustace home. They'd been beaten to death with a crowbar. Farrell was 16 when the killings took place, but was sentenced to death. He was spared from execution by a state Supreme Court ruling against condemning juveniles, and the nation's high court has ruled life without parole for juveniles is cruel and unusual punishment. That has Farrell in court with the Wendorf family members and his own mother watching. Dr. Garbarino said a dysfunctional upbringing and Farrell's own delusions made him violent. This vampire cult uh, kind of darkness that, uh, if anything, it may have prompted him to, to feel like he had to be the baddest one to maintain his position of leadership. But Richard Wendorf's brother Robert made a passionate plea to the judge to keep Farrell locked up. Maybe it's best that my brother will never know that he died for Rod's thrill. Judge, please keep this man in jail forever so no one else will ever be a victim. While the couple's daughter Heather was arrested along with Farrell, Howard Scott Anderson, Dana Cooper, and Charity Kesey, all who were sent to prison. A grand jury believed Heather was unaware of the murder plot and she was not tried. The hearing is supposed to last at least until Wednesday. Farrell is hoping to get no more time behind bars than Anderson, who recently was resentenced to 40 years. In Lake County, Greg Fox, Washington News.